Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I wanted to do a little haul video. So I have items here in this box that I picked up recently at a yard sale. Now the yard sale happened right down the street and they actually are known to have a couple yard sales every single year. And, but except for this last year because of everything that was going on, I just had one sale in the fall. But usually it's, just the, it's the spring and the fall. And what they do is they resell just like I do. They go to auctions. They also do like larger property buyouts and things like that. And they take these items and then they sell them at their yard sale. And their prices are very good. So unfortunately, now I'm gonna go through this stuff. Unfortunately, they take the price tags off. I'll do my best to, rem to try to remember what I paid for these things. But all in all, I did really well. I think I spent about $50 the first time I went. I actually went to their sale multiple times because they they put new things out throughout the week. It's a week-long yard sale. I didn't say that. So this first thing is really cool. It's one of these honeycomb decorations. By the way, it's been a while since I've done like a sit-down haul video. So this is kind of different. Uh, so it's one of these honeycomb type deals and this is a big one so it has it's pulling out all the stops it has like look it does it's like that big and then the, the turkey does its thing like that and then that doesn't do nothing but this that has a pumpkin a pumpkin comes over here and so it's very nice and it folds up all nice like that too and it goes in here so this is made by laurel and it probably is from the 70s, I would say. But it's this really cool honeycomb thing. And it comes with these little metal clips. I don't want to lose those. But that should do really well. I think I paid like 50 cents for that. It was a great price. Now there's a lot of little figurines in here. Salt and peppers, things like that. So I picked up these. I love that. This reminds me of the Fat Birds logo, the Fat Bird Finds logo, their channel. And this is Bone China, it says. The little blue, those are great. I paid $2 for those. Uh, we'll set those right over here. So all the salt and pepper shakers were pretty much $2 each. And then I got the squirrels. Got the pair of squirrels, those were $2 each. And then I have a couple lusterware pieces. So these, our little luster wares with the little chickens, just like that. They were $2 and they're marked Japan on the bottom. So that was a great find. Like I said, $2 for all of those, including that one. And most of these salt and pepper shakers will sell for me for between 10 and, oh, I would say 10 to $14 for these. They, ooh, I love these. They're little knotters. They call those knotters whenever they, they move like that but they're fish and then it has this little wording on there and it says, even a fish wouldn't get caught if, if he kept his mouth shut. And then I have these little bluebirds of happiness on the heart. So that's sort of a different one than we're used to seeing with the bluebirds of happiness, but here they are. And it's actually marked on the bottom here, handmade at Phoenix Studios. And it is also signed Ron Ray, 1993. It's etched right there, right there, it's etched. So those are nice. I think I paid like three or $4 for this. And this one here should sell for about 12 or so. I also got some magnets. I have strawberry, these little anthropomorphic fruits. These were like a great price. I think they, they're like five for, oh, it's not so funny. They're like five for, I wanna say five for a dollar or four for a dollar. So I had um, that one. Oh, and the ice cream cone. I couldn't help myself with that one. So I just thought they were fun, the little magnets. Here's another bluebird. This one might've been like $3. It's a smaller one for that bluebird. And it's also signed on the bottom, Leo. This one's signed Leo Ward, 1995. And it has the bluebird of happiness decal on there. So again, this one will sell for about $12. And then here is a Otagiri Japan duck. It's a duck. Um, I thought, aha, yes. It has a salt and a pepper that match. So we've got the salt and the pepper of those with the, with the covered sugar. If you wanna put sugar in there, 
So it's a whole set. I think I paid about $5 for all of these, which was a great price for all the ducks. This one caught my eye because it reminded me of the Nodders the Nodder ones I just showed you, but these are just setting in there, but I like that. It's kind of multi-tiered and they're really pretty with the birds. So if you're a bird fan and these come out and that's how you can use it with the little salt and the pepper. So this is marked, ah, Napco 1961. So that's cool. I love that it has a year. I love when things have years. So that was a great find. And then I picked up the little wooden ones. So these are the little wooden chefs. I'm not sure what that's about, but you can do one of those types of deals. The little chef. Oh, maybe that's how it, Um, you could take it out. Ah, that's how it locks. That was brilliant of me. <laughs> so every now and again, I have one of those moments. To get it in is harder than pulling it out though. I'm just, okay, I got it. I got it. The chef is happy. So the pair of those, that was a great find as well. Ah, I also picked up some tins. These little scotch tins are great for Christmas. We love to decorate red and green tape presents. It all goes to what goes together. I think this was 50 cents and this should sell for about $6 by itself. Then I couldn't help myself and I picked up the English Blackheart cherry flavored tablets. I'm not sure why. I just thought the graphics were fun. So this is another round tin. And that was, I think, 50 cents as well. So that was great. Let's change course a little bit. And I'm gonna show you some pillowcases. So I bought a lot of pillowcases, more than even these, because I went back, like I said, multiple times and I was able to get a lot of them. So the pillowcases were priced at $4 a set. That also included some others that had issues that could have been like small tears or stains and some had ends that were not sewn but these here are in very nice shape so i paid four dollars each or four dollars per set on these so this actually oh yes this is a pillowcase set so we've got this one here that lovely with the dress you know this might have been a single was that a single no that was a set so the other one's in here somewhere I, I did open these up because it said check for stains, so I, I did that, but oh, I love that with the, the little dress hanging off there. So the pillowcases should do about $16 each, and or I keep saying each, $16 per set. So that was a, a nice one. And then I also have this blue one here, right here. So just nice, simple floral blue. That's really nice. And then, got this one here four dollars per set was a great price beautiful purple flowers you don't see I don't see purple very often so it's good to, to get one of those and here's the mate for that one so we've got the pair of those and then ah uh, here's the other lady the other lady with her dress that connects that set um did I show this blue one because this is a blue one that might have been what I showed earlier um, oh, I also picked up some doilies. The doilies were 50 cents each, and that's a great price for doilies. So I sell these for about 10 to $12. And we've got the really pink ones. I like the fun color ones. I pretty much stay away from the white ones. Although you can do great things with those too. You can sew them together and make like large runners, do things for Valentine's Day, Halloween. You could do like, make them look like cobwebs and stuff. If you wanted to go that route. I like the yellow one too. So these were all 50 cents each. Here's another yellow or pink and white. Another pink and white. This one's a different shape. See, that's great. Another pink and white. As you can tell, I'm partial to pink and white. No, but they just had a lot. They had a lot of the pink and white ones. So I got them. It's another interesting shape one. So all of those 50 cents each was a fantastic price. And then more pillowcases. This one is like a tulip. That's really nice. So there's two of those. I guess the other one's in there somewhere. Here it is. Yes. Really pretty. And then I have a couple more. Just a couple. Actually, this is the last one. And then we have the red flowers, the yellow, and the green. A pair of those. So 
nah, I still got more. So that was a lot of pillowcase sets and I really scored on those. Okay, so what else I have in here? A lot, of, a lot more salt and peppers. Also this tin. I love the shape of that tin. Just a really interesting decoration piece. This is marked on the bottom, Bluebird Confectionery. Confectionery. Worcestershire, England. <laughs> ah, love it. So that's, that's really cool. I love the color. I love the, the graphics on there. All in all, very nice. I think I paid, I want to say a dollar. Maybe it was 50 cents even. This was awesome. I love that 1970s plastic yellow. Ooh, with the butterflies. It's a napkin holder or one of those hair, hair things. Maybe not, but this was, I want to say 50 cents. And that's a really fantastic price for one of these. And I would sell for probably 10 to 10 to $12 for the napkin holder. I also have some glass. Wasn't, a, there wasn't a lot of glass where I could buy, but I did get the coin, the, um, I think it's Faustoria but it's the really pretty ice blue coloring with the coin pattern on there, the American Eagle. We've got, I think it might be a sugar dish or you could put your candy or whatever in there, but it's a great little piece. And this was a couple dollars, I wanna say, for the blue coin dish. That should sell for about, I probably 14 for the, for the whole thing. Oh gosh, okay. So I did get some of these. These sell pretty good. These are just marked Japan, but they're done up in a style much earlier. You, you can see that it's sort of like a Victorian, late 1800s, early 1900s sort of style, but it is really pretty and they did a great job. So you can see also there's hand painted flowers. I like that a lot. I've got that one and this one. I might sell them as a set, I'm not sure but that's obviously for two switches and this is for one switch. And I think I paid a dollar each or 50 cents each or something like that. And they should sell, that one right there should sell for about 12 to 14 and about 12. So those were a good find and I've sold those before. Ah, we've got the mouse and the cheese. Actually, no, we don't, what do we have? I'm confused. Okay, no, no, no. We've got a pair of those. Little mice, I guess. Salt and peppers, in great shape. Again, $2 I paid. These are Inesco, and they'll sell really well for 12, about $12. And then I like these a lot. These are an interesting shape. I'll, yeah, those were a good find. I, these might've been $2, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were four but they do have a general sort of price structure across all their salt and peppers at $2 a piece. So I think they might've been $2 a piece, but those are really cool. Now they do have the cold paint missing on them, which is pretty normal for this type of ceramic, but they're marked Japan on the bottom and they do have crazing throughout, but oh, I just, I think they're fantastic. I just like those a lot and they're um, salt and peppers. So those I would probably expect more, even though I paid $2, I still think, those should sell for probably 16, maybe even $18 because of their size and how whimsical they are. Another interesting salt and pepper shaker set are these little anthropomorphic mm, vegetables. So, oh, and fruit. So we have the grape and we have the cinnamon. Well, I'm now I'm confusing myself. I get an onion with cinnamon in it. And then we have this nutmeg one and then we have the salt. And lastly, we have allspice. So you will have all of them. There are five in total that I have. And so all five I paid $5 for. Fantastic price once again. I haven't looked these up to see what they're doing, but um, I'll have to do that because uh, anthropomorphic stuff usually does pretty well. Uh, as a large set like this, I don't know if it would still command that kind of price structure, meaning like, you know, $10 each, would that sell for $50? I don't know. I'm thinking somewhere around mid twenties though for the whole set. I'll have to double check that and see what I wanna do. But $5 was a great price for these. So 
Also, um, I'm gonna jump into something else. I still have more salt and peppers, but I don't want people that are opposed to salt and peppers to fall asleep. So I picked up this thing here. Nice little lavender talc tin. I like picking up tins. More recently, I find myself getting into them again, but they're great mixed, just a way to mix things up, you know? So I like that and the old little graphics on there. It says Boston on there, made in USA. Very pretty. This was probably one or two dollars that I paid for it. So that was nice. Now this salt and pepper is a Hawaiian salt and pepper. It's still wrapped up. It says it right there, it's a little souvenir made of wood, probably monkey pod wood. It says made in the Philippines on the sticker. And that was $2 as well. I love the prices. They're just, they're so good. So that one right there would probably sell for about $14. It's a good souvenir piece. I did pick up a couple shot glasses. I think these were a 50 cents or a dollar each. This one here, I like the stripes on it. It reminds me of something that I've seen before, probably out of the 30s, maybe a little earlier but it's a little shot glass type or juice glass. This one is a shot glass. I picked it up because it was whimsical. It says, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. And she has her little eyes on there, but it's kind of like the Mona Lisa type of eyes. They move, they move with you. So I picked up that one as well. I thought it was just kind of clever. They did have other shot glasses and I generally don't buy shot glasses as far as like the souvenir ones that say different words on, that say like, oh, I don't know, South Dakota, Tennessee. I'm not so much into picking those up, but I do like to pick up clever ones. Well, this isn't very clever, but it's pretty. So I bought those two. I thought those were pretty good finds. I also picked up these, the wood salt and peppers. So we have those. I think they're really awesome. These were $2 as well, like all the others, and they're in great shape. And those will do well, I think. Now, I did pick up a couple pieces of jewelry. Let me show you those. This one, I wanna say that they were 50 cents each. So we have this like little beetle. I just thought that it was a very pretty bug. Now, beetles aren't really a, a hugely collectible thing, huge, a very collectible insect, but we could start a movement of this because that is just really pretty, the way they did that. And this one's a strawberry. So I picked up the little strawberry pin. Uh, 50 cents each on those. I'll sell them for probably about six to eight dollars each. So that was a good simple pickup. I did get the mouse and the cheese, salt and pepper. Another one that I could not resist. So I got that one. Whoops, it's okay, don't worry. Oh, these are a favorite too. They're little frogs with hats on. So there's that one, and it comes with a mustard with a spoon. So it's hard enough to find them like, you know, a whole set like this, but with the original spoon. So we've got the frog with his hat on, with his spoon, with the little froglings or frog, frog family, whatever. <laughs> They're marked. I thought they were marked. No, guess not. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. What do you say? Germany. I wasn't expecting that. I'll have to look this up because I, I wasn't, I was thinking a made in Japan item for sure, but nope, it's not. It's marked Germany. Okay. Well, that's different. I'll have to see. By the way, they're luster wear. They've got their luster on them. I picked up some animals like this blue glass animal. Really awesome. I think these were like $4 each. So I did pay up for them, but I think they're awesome. And the bird, the cobalt bird with the clear tail. Very pretty. I would expect to sell each one of these for about $12 to $16. I need to look those up to be sure. And then, ah, a penguin. We love a good penguin. So there's that one. Same thing, about, about $14, $16. I also picked up the two skunk, the pair of skunks. I love picking up skunk items. These are really cute ones too with their little faces, their little anthropomorphic cutesy faces. So we got the pair of those. I also got 
some zebras. I don't see zebra. That's another animal I like to pick up when I can. So those were a good find. Ceramic as well, of course. This was different. It's a little gum parker. It's just like a little cat. It's on its back. And you can put your gum there. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's it's a good idea at one point for someone. Gum Parker. So I think I paid like $2 for this just because I thought it was different. And um, I would expect to sell it for probably about six, eight, ten, somewhere in there. It's just cute. For the little look at it, it almost has like a human face. So there's that one. And then the last salt and pepper, and then there's one more thing, and then we're done. Oh, I couldn't help but get these little guys. I think they're mice and they are just loving each other. They go like that. Aw. Isn't that lovely? The little salt and peppers. So I picked those up as well. Those were $2. The last thing in this haul is this wonderful splatter. I'm going to call it splatter. It's this black deco. It looks really deco to me, like the 20s or so. And it has the white. You can see it right here. It's a candle holder, and then it also has a matching plate. So I picked those up. I think these were like, I don't even know, like a dollar each or something. Very simple prices for me. I'm like, oh, yes, of course, without even, like, what am I going to do with such a thing? But that plate is so, just so interesting. Look at the shape, even on the form of the edge there. Ah, so... Not sure if I'll sell those together or separately or what I'll even sell them for, but black amethyst, black glass. I'm just, I just really like it. So I picked both of those up. And honestly, I think I did really well. And like I said, this was only one trip out of many that I went. And I'll actually have another haul video on some more things that I picked up. Spoiler alert, a lot more pillowcases. Uh, it's hard to pass up $4 pillowcase sets. But you know, for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.